So let's start from the top. Go ahead. Should there be a database system that tracks the Muslims here in this country? There should be a lot of systems beyond database. I mean, we should have a lot of systems. And today you can do it. But right now we have to have a border. We have to have strength. We have to have a wall. And we cannot let what's happening to this country happen. In this so let's right stop right there. So basically he didn't take the, he didn't bite the hook yet. Right? Says we should have a lot of systems beyond database. So he obviously didn't hear the word Muslims. We should have a lot of systems. We should have a database. We should have a lot because he goes immediately to what? The border and the wall. He goes immediate so that has nothing to do with refugees, the border and the wall. You get my point? The logic of his response is we need a border, we need a wall, we need to secure the border. Sure, we should have a lot of systems. So he didn't say, yes, we should track the Muslims. Because they're Muslims. He didn't say that. And by the way, I am a victim of this kind of reporting over and over and over again by Media Matters and others who take what I say completely out of context, take one sentence, half of a sentence, three words, and then they say, Levin said X. And they're doing it to try and character assassinate you. They're doing it to try and destroy you. They don't want to engage in real debate. They don't want to have a discussion. They are hit men. They are hit women. They are character assassins. And that's exactly what this little puke is here who asked Trump the question. Go ahead. Oh, I would certainly implement that. Absolutely. What do you think the effect of that would be? How would that work? So stop, stop. So he talks about we should have a lot of systems, and today you can do it. But right now, we have to have a border. We have to have strength. We have to do it. Is that something your White House would like to implement? Is what something your White House would like to implement? I assume he means the border. I assume he means the wall, right, Mr. Producer? Am I following this correctly? Your White House, what would your White House do? I'd do the border, I'd do security. So this guy brought up the Muslims and the database. Trump never brought it up. And he says absolutely in response to his own comment. That is Trump's own comment, which is right now we have to have a border, we have to have strength, we have to have a wall, and we cannot let what's happening to this country happen and ignore it. Is that, is that something your White House would like to implement? The wall he's talking about, the border security. Oh, I would certainly implement that. Absolutely. Go ahead. We would stop people from coming in illegally. We have to stop people from coming in to our country illegally. For Muslims specifically, how do you actually get them registered into a database? It would be just good management. So let's stop. So now we've moved on. It, the Muslim thing isn't even in his head. So how would you get people to register? How, you know, how would you actually get this done? You know, well, be good management, be good management. There is literally nothing controversial about what this man said. There's something terribly controversial about what the reporter said and how the reporter projects his ignorance and his partisanship and his hatred for this man and other Republicans, I'm sure, into his reporting such as it is. Go ahead. It's good management procedures, and we can do that. That's nice. I mean, do, you for, do you go to mosques and sign these people up? And the different places. You sign them up at different, but it's all about management. Our country has no management. Who's is that? Would they have to legally be in this database? Would they be there? They have to be. They have to be. Let me just. You know, you he's talking about immigrants, right? The, the immigrants have to be in the database. Ladies and gentlemen, they have to be in somebody's database. I mean, even Jeb Bush, they have to pay a fine if they're here illegally, right? They have to uh, learn English. They do. Well, who? I don't know. I don't have a database. Well, we have the greatest vetting system in the face of the world. Great. What are you vetting? Nothing. We don't have a database. That's what he's talking about. To me, it's so rational if you if you follow through what's going on and you understand the environment in which it's going on. I'm not a special pleader here. I just don't like liars and I don't like bullies. And the media are all those things. Go ahead. Key is people can come to the country, but they have to come in legally. Oh, very controversial. And he has since said that he thinks, yes, there needs to be a database for the Syrian refugees. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I dare say there is a database for the Syrian refugees and every other refugee. And every other immigrant. And again, I don't know how you vet people if you don't have a database. 
So which is it? Well, are you going to track the Muslims? No, we're not going to track the Muslims. But we need a database, and the FBI will determine who needs to be tracked. And there are mosques in this country that ought to be shut down. And let's stop playing that game, too. They don't just preach religion in some places. Not all. Some. And we know which ones. And the FBI knows which ones. And we used to monitor them, and I hope we're still monitoring them. But they preach something else, too. And this goes on in France, and this goes on in Britain, and it goes on throughout the world. So we're not playing PC games here. We're not playing liberal games here. The liberals will get us blown off the face of the earth. Our children and our grandchildren and future generations are too important. And this country is too important. And let me remind the liberals, no, no, we're not just focused on Muslims. You know, in the 1930s, we were focused on Germans, most of whom were Christian. We were focused on Japanese. We were focused on Italians. Not in our own country. I'm talking about the, uh, the Axis powers, obviously, the enemy. And at different times, we're focused on different people. The Vietnam War, we were focused on certain of the population of Vietnamese. The Korean War, certain of the population of Koreans. I'm sick and tired of the left tearing down this country. Folks, we haven't done a damn thing to deserve the kind of hate that we receive in this country from the liberals. Nothing. It's not like... FDR's days where we're rounding up people and putting them in internment camps. That's the Democrats. That's on them. You know, the great Democrat party is, we had the wonderful caller last hour, and we reminded slavery, segregation, Jim Crow, the Klan, lynching, Democrats and Democrat Party and Democrat Party officials. Let us be clear. Can you name one Republican? Two Republicans? Five Republicans? In high office who were involved in that? You can't name them. And I always add, if you read Men in Black, internment. The only time we've actually interned people because of their ethnicity was under Franklin Roosevelt. And you know who was touting Franklin Roosevelt 48 hours ago? As transforming the nation and bringing socialism to the nation and the greatest president of all time? Bernie Sanders. Well, let Bernie Sanders answer for internment. Why didn't this little cretin, this little phony NBC reporter show up at the Bernie Sanders event and ask him, I don't understand, Mr. Sanders. You are promoting FDR. I know you like his, his economic policies, but you know uh, the internment camps, he set them up. Executive Order 9066. You ask any American Japanese family what executive order that was, and they will tell you it was Executive Order 9066 in which he directed the Department of War and any of their commanders to literally move American citizens of Japanese descent out of their homes, off their farms, into camps that they built into the interior of the nation. That's the Democrat Party. As far as I know, Trump isn't proposing any such thing. I'll be right back. Mark Lovin'.